right? What's up? What are you doing? This is my 69 Caddy. I remember Ryan telling me he bought a 69 Cadillac a while back, and I seem to remember him telling me that he really wasn't going to do anything special to it. Counting Cars was created based on the success of car-themed reality shows launched in the early 2000s. The show premiered in 2012 and ran for 10 long seasons. It garnered a fan base so huge that it became one of the most watched TV shows in the state, with a 94.7% demand compared to other US TV reality shows. However, Counting Cars' success would have been nothing but a pipe dream without exceptional cast members like Ryan Evans. Thank you. And Ryan, kudos, man. You get the stamp of approval from the dude that built it. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Ryan Evans is second to none when it comes to creating artwork in cars. Nevertheless, he was relatively unknown as a painter until he appeared in Counting Cars. Ryan's obvious talent and charisma on the show while on screen were among the reasons viewers love the show so much. As a result, he rose to celebrity status, amassing a seven-figure net worth along the way. Now, how many car painters with a seven-figure net worth do you know? Join us as we take you through Ryan's journey before and on Counting Cars, where he is now, and the luxurious lifestyle being a reality TV star allows him to live. <laughs> they did not specify to who to get lunch for. Every errand we sent him <laughs> on, he did for himself. Are you guys going to open the doors like a sweat lodge in here? <laughs> Thanks to Hawaiian native Shannon Aikau, who served as the bike shop manager and lead builder at Counts Customs, Ryan's talents as a painter would make it to the big screens. However, before his talents were discovered, Ryan Evans was just like every other young kid, ambitious and eager to learn but with no concrete plans for the future. Ryan was born on January 3, 1974 in Frankfurt, Germany. Ryan's passion for motorcycles began at a young age, but before his interest in motorcycles, he had a history of creating things and making them look exceptional. Ryan's first encounter with art was a t-shirt gifted to him by his parents at age 7. That t-shirt had Ryan's name painted on it. At that time, it was the coolest thing he ever owned. Ryan got fixated on that shirt, and it marked the beginning of his journey as an airbrush painter. Ryan attended the Frankfurt American High School in Germany and was introduced to the concept of airbrushing by a teacher. He got more interested in airbrushing, but after graduating from high school in 1992, he came to the United States for further education and studied business and accountancy at a Texas community college. After college, Ryan had no plans to spend the rest of his life working a 9-to-5 job, a decision that would pay off in the future, so he started searching for automotive painting jobs right after graduation. Ryan sought automotive painting jobs instead of becoming the next Picasso because of the time he had spent tinkering in his father's garage as a child. He thought it best to match his itch for art with his passion for motorcycles, and it worked out just fine. However, Ryan's willingness to learn everything he comes across meant that instead of sticking to painting just motorcycles, he extended his skill set to painting cars later in his career. Ryan had no formal training in the art of painting. Almost everything he knew about the art was self-taught with the help of an unnamed automotive painter who let him learn by watching what professional airbrushing looked like. While he was studying at Texas Community College, Ryan was already taking jobs as an artist. So, when he graduated, it was easy to transition to painting as a full-time job. In search of greener pastures, Ryan moved to California, where he would perfect his art even better. Like most great artists, Ryan's quality as an automotive painter wasn't something that just anyone could replicate. Soon, art enthusiasts began looking for Ryan's skills, and in 2000, Shannon Aikau became one of those enthusiasts interested in Ryan's work. Ryan started his career in automotive painting by painting bikes. Shannon worked as the bike shop manager for Counts Customs, Danny Coker's brainchild. So, it was natural that a talented bike painter like Ryan would catch iCal's attention. Despite the interest from iCal, the decision was Ryan's to make. He was introduced to Danny Coker, and to date, Ryan refers to that first meeting as life-changing. Danny invited Ryan to work for the shop in Las Vegas. This invite marked a turning point in Ryan's career. 
Ryan joined the Count's Customs crew and was immediately introduced to a slew of bikes and cars. The shop at Count's Customs used to specialize in customizing choppers before Ryan joined the team. However, over time, the shop shifted its focus to automobile customization for anything on wheels, allowing Ryan to hone his airbrushing abilities further. Ryan has spent years modifying bikes since he is an avid biker and views them as works of beauty on wheels. Ryan's ability to work for Danny also helped him improve in other aspects. On the other hand, Danny discovered how to have faith in Ryan's abilities. Because of their mutual trust, Ryan has been working with the shop for a long time and got promoted to head painter. Ryan worked with Danny and Count's Customs for over a decade before the reality TV show on the shop aired. Ryan has been on Counting Cars since its first episode and has appeared in over 100 episodes. On the show, he has worked on countless cars and bikes. However, some of Ryan's best work on the show includes the Vampire Van. The van is Danny's Red Van, a 1981 Chevy CT van. This beautiful retro people carrier has a vampire themed paint job made by Ryan. The paint job features vampire murals, hand-turned genuine silver leafing, flame-type side graphics, and silver skulls. Danny has owned the van since 1982, and it has undergone many design iterations before Ryan's beautiful vampire theme paint. Another awesome project Ryan worked on during the show is the 1971 Superfly Cadillac from the third season. This huge classic land yacht on wheels was designed to be the penultimate pimp mobile. The ride pays homage to the laid back 70s, but the real stunning aspect of the car is its gold paint, which consists of studded gold flakes, silver and gold leaves, pinstriping, and some luscious wheels. Danny even dressed up in a 70s pimp costume to show off this beauty. Ryan did well for himself on the cast of County Cars and as a crew member of Count's Customs. As a master automotive artist and TV personality, his net worth is estimated to be well over $3 million. Sure, $3 million is far from Danny's net worth of $15 million, but it's a lot of cash for someone who just paints cars and bikes. Ryan Evans is a living proof that hard work and persistence can get you all the things in life you promised yourself as a kid. Ryan doesn't make enough money to live like a Saudi prince, but he is doing okay. His daily driver is a custom 1969 Cadillac Coupe. Not a luxury car, but a vehicle that oozes class. Ryan generally keeps a low-key profile even though he was one of the most loved cast members of the show and one of the most popular crew members at the shop. When he's not working, he spends time with his family, which he tries as much as possible to keep away from his life as a reality TV personality. Ryan has been married to Donna Pauly since 2015 and they have Logan, Kyle, and Austin as their kids. Logan is Donna's son from her past relationship, while Kyle and Austin are from Ryan's previous marriage. Ryan doesn't keep his art to just cars and bikes alone. He also loves body art and shows appreciation for good tattoos. Fans of Counting Cars are probably expecting the show to come up with something since the 10th season aired in 2021. Avid fans of the show and Ryan Evans may have noticed that Ryan has been absent from the show since 2018. There's no comment about why Ryan no longer appears on the show from Ryan himself, Danny, and the show's producers. While the general speculation is that Ryan was fired, he still works with Count's Custom, so the news about him getting fired seems bogus. What's closer to the truth is that Ryan is taking an unannounced break from reality TV. He's still doing an awesome job of keeping the paint section of Count's Customs running. While he no longer appears on TV, Ryan is always attending events and expositions, promoting the projects the shop has embarked on, and working on getting advertising deals from customization-related brands. There have been calls for Ryan to go out independently and start a new thing or company, but over the years, Ryan has proven himself indispensable to the crew at Count's Customs, and it looks like he will continue working there for as long as possible. In the future, he might decide to branch out on his own and start something, but for now, Ryan is happy where he is. Judging by a reply to a comment on Instagram that reads, Life is so much better having an A-team to back me up in all aspects of shop life and work. I'm really not looking forward to the solo days at all in any way. There isn't enough money for that. Ryan's life is good.